Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. As I said a couple of videos back, I am continuing on with an alcohol ink themed, ocean themed video. And this one has real starfish and I am obsessed with the results. <laughs> So these pendants are going to be double layered. The first layer I'm just laying down the starfish and a couple of seashells. So for that I'm going to use Vista Turbo. All of the details are in the description box below and my code is down there as well to get quadruple miles with your Vista order. Now I do stir my resin for quite a while but I didn't make much because again this is just the first layer this is just to ensure my my things stay in place now i have got my mold at this kind of horizontal angle just to make it easier for the camera to pick it all up in one shot otherwise it would be vertical and you just wouldn't see so i hope that doesn't upset anyone <laughs> It's the easiest way to film, honestly. Now I have six starfish and these starfish were sent to me by the amazing Kari. So thank you so much, Kari. Kari is a patron of mine and she messaged me and asked if she could send me a few things. She, You know, people don't have to send me things, but when they do, honestly, I am so, 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 so grateful. So Kari did send me six tiny, teeny, beautiful starfish and I just knew instantly what I wanted to use them for. So here you just see me getting messy as always and putting a little bit of resin into the mold to just yeah create that first layer. The mold is from Molds and Shapes and it will also be linked down below. Now with the starfish I do have a play around with them. I place them in then I tip them upside down so that they are fully coated. Now my reasoning for this was that I was gonna hopefully eliminate any air bubbles Again, because it's ocean, I wasn't too worried about air bubbles, but yeah, this is this is how I went about it. And I wasn't sure which side I wanted to show. Did I want the detail to show or the plain kind of starfish side? For the majority, I chose the plain starfish, but this one here was a little bit curved and a little bit kind of, yeah, a couple of its kind of legs, tentacles, if you like. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Are they legs? <laughs> oh dear. Um, were really curved, so I decided that one would be the only one showing the detail on the on the other side. But I just want to say a huge thank you to my patrons because, you know, I messaged them last week. If you do not know, we just got a puppy and life has become something I've not ever recognized before. It's a very different life. I've never had a dog. I've never had a puppy. It's something I've wanted for over a year, well over a year actually, before COVID happened. Um, I've wanted a puppy. We finally got one and I found myself last week in some kind of daze. It was a mixture of sleep deprivation and not being able to work in the same way I worked before we got a puppy. So I just had this almighty, I don't want to call it, I didn't burn out. I didn't feel like I burned out. I just felt like I was a bit overwhelmed. So my patrons really helped me because I just wrote to them and I was like, I'm sitting here staring into space. I don't know where to start. I want to get back onto resin. These are all the molds I've been sent. I don't know if it's that I'm just feeling uninspired or if I'm feeling overwhelmed by all of the ideas I had. And my patrons honestly just came straight back with just start, just pick up your resin and start. Do something, you know, do alcohol inks, do something that is just going to get you back in the zone of work because my brain was fried from having this puppy in our lives. He has come in and he's the best thing that's ever happened to us. But when I tell you I'm so used to being able to work all day, every day on my own and then being responsible for George, <laughs> we called him George, it was a lot, it was a lot. Um, but I wouldn't change it. So I just wanted to say thank you to my patrons because you guys gave me the encouragement to just, when I had the time, you know, hubby had him all weekend. I was upstairs working and just start. And the minute I started, it got me so straight back in the zone. It was unbelievable. So 
those words of encouragement and you know it happens to all of us we just get this creative meh and it's not that we don't want to create we just we feel overwhelmed by absolutely everything that is going on in our lives whether it's personal and actually you know upsetting things or whether it's something new like a new puppy um that can just send your whole brain to mush <laughs> absolute mush anyway that was my ode to my patrons because guys you saved me <laughs> you saved me you really really helped me so huge thank you to you this one is dedicated to you especially with a great big fat hug um but yeah i just had to say that we all feel it sometimes and it's okay um and yeah it's a positive thing really it's a positive thing right okay back to the video you saw me pour that first layer of resin in that is the vista turbo i placed in my starfish i didn't want it uniformed so i didn't place them all in the center and placed in my shells my shells are from resin a mixture of resin a and amazon and then i just cleaned up the edges with a wet wipe this is five hours later now the next resin I'm using is actually Vista Cascade because I don't know if alcohol inks really do what they're meant to do in Vista Turbo. I feel like Vista Turbo cures quite quickly and I was worried about using alcohol inks in it. My plan was to pour the resin in. Oops, shaky camera. Sorry, I over poured. I over poured and I knew I was using alcohol inks. So like I said in previous videos, you really want to leave a gap at the top if you're using alcohol inks because you don't want to overflow your mold um now fully inspired by my recent alcohol ink and resin and um, ocean themed pieces i wanted to try alcohol inks in three so that is what i'm doing across the top three here rapidly running out of blues i think i'm down to my last two blue alcohol inks so <laughs> it was what it was i couldn't i couldn't put any more blues in there um I think I only did two layers of alcohol ink with the white drops down on top because, yeah, I'd filled the moulds quite a lot. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. The results are still... Mm. This is voiceover Claire that knows the results, okay? I know the results. And now I want a billion more starfish and I just want to carry on with this alcohol ink dropping because oh my gosh when you get in the zone this is what i was saying earlier sometimes it just takes like that seashell video that i did just wasn't loving the results but it did make me want to try more get back into it um it just works you know just sitting down and blocking everything out <laughs> puppy was safe downstairs with hubby so i was able to block him out um but yeah the bottom three are going to be mica powder. Now I'm using that mica powder you saw on screen. That is from the Colour Cottage. I've just poured in some clear to the bottoms because I want to try and drop some of the gold. And then I'm filling up the rest with the blue mica powder. Um, and yeah, I was hoping that by pouring the clear at the bottom, it would give me a little bit of space just to drop in some gold alcohol ink and drop my white on top. You could already see these are they're domed already they're kind of domed um sorry i've got the hiccups all of a sudden <laughs> okay i paused i'm back hiccups have gone um yeah this is it so i did overfill a little bit but it's okay the two on the right i had leftover resin so i just poured it in for the sake of pouring it in and not wasting it they can be created into something else and oh my gosh guys oh listen 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 <laughs> Am I going to say obsessed? Absolutely. I have to. The gold worked a dream. So where I left that little clear space with the mica powder. So this was the mica powder and the clear. And where I left a little clear space. And I just dropped in a little bit of that gold and the white. How beautiful does it look? And you can see some white as well. And I'm okay with that. I'm actually really, really happy that has come through as well. Because it's just added this wave, crashing wave, ocean sand and oh my gosh love them absolutely love them i've already kind of said to kari on the, on the patron page i've already posted photos of this to my patrons they will also have got early access to this video they will have watched this before everyone else as a thank you um that's what i do for my patrons as well to show my appreciation this is the alcohol ink stop it 
<laughs> the alcohol ink. Now, bearing in mind, I had a thin, thin layer to play with. It wasn't deep like the other projects that I've been doing. This was really thin and I put two chunky layers of alcohol ink in. The differences between the two, unbelievable, beautiful results. And even better, I got no air bubbles in the rims. So even as a whole pendant, oh God, if I could just hug it, I would hug it. I love this alcohol ink result on the back and what can I say? What can I say? Again, this is another mica and I'm really glad I didn't make them uniform. I'm really glad I didn't just put the starfish all in exactly the same positions. That's something I would do. That is something that I tend to do is, mm, am I, do I be quite uniform? But I'm glad I went random and placed them in random places and each pendant pretty much got four seashells-ish each, I believe. Um, this is the only one that had the starfish facing the other way. So we've got the detail in there compared to the others, which are the plain side. I'm, I'm loving both. I'm loving both. I definitely love seeing all of the detail. And I think... Mm, hindsight is a wonderful thing but yeah again the gold came through but I do think I would like all of my starfish to be the other way up but you can see here how curved it was and I got worried that yeah I don't know I was a bit worried about it so I placed it the other way around so that the curves would be the other way I hope I'm making sense but I am loving these so much and I think the reason I love them is because they're so simple they're just so 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 pretty and simple and they take me away to another place they take me to the beach and the alcohol ink oh gosh honestly why didn't I do all six with alcohol ink I just wanted to try the mica powder I love the mica powder results don't get me wrong but the alcohol ink gives it something special and yeah I'm loving I'm love love loving so yeah saving time here just demolding all at once because ugh, oh love 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 let me know in the comment section down below a if you've made it this far b what alcohol inks do you use i've actually only ever used let's resin um pinata and ranger now these are the two randoms i had resin left over i thought it would be fun to pour the mica powder in and then pour the gold down on top to see if it would work its way through and it worked its way through the resin and mica powder so this is something to bear in mind something i've never tried before but it works so take away what you will from that <laughs> um yeah, I've the Ranger alcohol inks I've not had great success with and I don't know if it's because I'm using Ranger alcohol inks with Piñata White. I don't know if they really go together, but listen, we've reached the end. I am obsessed. I have I have to say it. I'm obsessed for a few reasons and mostly because they're so neat. <laughs> they're so neat. Most unlike me. <laughs> Most unlike me. But which one, yeah, which one, what, watch, which ones do you prefer? The alcohol ink on the left or the mica on the right where I added some clear at the bottom and dropped some gold for the beach? Let me know. Alcohol ink for the win or mica powder for the win? Personally, I do love both. I really, truly do. The alcohol ink, though, just gives it a something a little bit magical and a little bit special. I can still see these being used with some vinyl cricket detail on and yeah I'm just giving you a side view here so voiceover Claire has not caught up with what my hands are actually doing on screen but that's okay you can forgive me because <laughs> you know, I got a puppy and my brain is mush um, but yeah I'm so loving the starfish that was facing the other way so I could see the detail I'll definitely do that again in the future i've already asked kari where she got them from i'm going to put the details in the description box below as well and yeah close-ups for you here just adore them i adore everything about them thank you so so much if you've stayed this long we are nearly 14 minutes in so i massively appreciate you if you have not already hit that like button and hit the subscribe as well and be a part of this crazy place <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed it and I appreciate you all massively and again this one is for my patrons because you guys lifted me up when I needed to be lifted 
I was in I was in a, a starey, gazy, getting nothing done, procrastinating mood and yeah, you guys gave me the kick I needed and I'm loving, loving resin and alcohol inks. I will speak to you all soon and I will see you all in the next video. And now I get creative with sand. Let's put the music on. Bye. Thank you.